Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell, I have no makeup on right now and that is because we are going to be testing out the newest in uh, beauty applying make- wait, what? The newest in makeup applying products. Obviously, as you can tell by the title, today we are going to be testing out the Tati Beauty Blendiful. It launched like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, something like that. And, you know, I had been like hemming and hawing about getting her palette and then I watched a ton of reviews on it so I did end up buying it so I will be eventually filming a video today using that but I wanted to kind of like split it because I thought it would be too much for one video. So this video we're going to be testing out the Blendiful. Next video I put up we will be talking about her palette. Um, I know a lot of you guys have already seen tons of reviews on it. I don't know if anybody cares about my opinion on it but I got it so I figured I would show it anyways. Anyways, so I got mine... Um, two days ago or something like that so this is the box it comes in first of all there she is how beautiful is she I just uh I wish I was even half as skilled at makeup as she is uh it's just crazy so like I said I did get the Tati Beauty palette but we're gonna test that out in another video this video is all about the Blendiful here they are so obviously they come in this like sealed package on the back of the package is the cleaning instructions. I think I'm gonna have to like take a picture of this or save it or something. And then it just says no harsh lines. So before I tried this today, I did watch a ton of videos. Oh, that's so satisfying. A ton of videos on how to use these just so I'd have a vague idea. So this is what they look like. You get two in a pack. I'm pretty sure it was $18. Um, don't quote me. I'm pretty sure that's probably US dollars, but don't, don't hold me to that. Um, so you get two in a pack. You get one larger triangle guitar looking pick guitar pick looking I should say like that's kind of the shape I'm getting and this one's supposed to be like for your oh it's so soft just give me a minute anyway this one is supposed to be for like your uh, primer your foundation you can use it for concealer you can use it for setting powder you can use it for contour and then you've also got this little heart shaped guy here and they all have like these little ribbons for you to stick your fingers in so it's easier to hold so that you're not like touching this side of it and the little heart one is supposed to be like if you want to put on like a highlight with it or you need like a smaller edge or even throughout the day just to do touch-ups I'm pretty sure I saw so like I said you get two in a pack we are going to be testing out both today. The one thing that kind of freaks me out about this is just knowing how dirty my brushes and like my beauty blender get um I'm just wondering if like one second. We have retrieved the Blendiful. Nobody panicked. Nobody was harmed in that throw. Not even me. Um, but yeah, the only thing that I worry about with these is that like once you use them once, do you have to like I'm really bad and I probably should like wash my brushes every single time I use them and wash out my beauty blender every single time I use them. Oh my god, my hair. Also today is the first day in like literally at least since I've been dating Tom. So like over two years well we haven't been dating for over two years but like I don't remember the last time I used it that I actually straightened my hair with a hair straightener because I did sorry segue I did um hot yoga this morning so I was super super sweaty and gross so I showered when I got home and then I had a massage this afternoon so I had to like at the massage I had to like put my hair up like on my head and then I did a little running around and then I came home and I like body showered just to get the oil off and when I took my hair down it was like this like hot kinked up mess and I was just like oh my god that's never gonna just like settle out on its own before we go out tonight I'm gonna have to straighten it so I actually straightened my hair today and yeah it's still not the greatest but at least it's like I can come on camera for you guys and I'm not super embarrassed so um, I did try, I wanted to find a video of like Tati actually using this and I'm not sure if there is one, but what I did find on her, oh, hello ring light, on her website was like down here underneath the product. So here is the Blendiful. So yes, it is $18. It basically says that step one, primer, step two, foundation, step three, concealer, step four contour, step five powder, and then step six highlight, and it shows you sort of like all of the steps. So I'm gonna sort of use this today 
to um, go off of. So the only thing I have on my face right now is moisturizer just because I am really dry right now. Um, but other than that, we're just going to go ahead and use the Blendiful. So the only thing I don't really know is, hmm, are you supposed to, okay, so this actually tells you to use this with a blurring primer. So I think I'm just going to like put this on, this primer on like normal because this isn't blurring. I do have a blurring primer right here that we're going to use as well. So I'm going to use this first. Also, I was thinking I would do half my face like with the Blendiful and half my face like normal and we'll see how it turns out just so that we can get an idea. So this first primer, this is the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. It looks like the exact same color as um, the Becca primer in the bottle, but like when you pump this out, look how bright this is. I should actually be in frame. Like look at how bright purple that that is. That's crazy. Anyway, so I just picked this up the other day. It reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay um, Optical Illusion or the self-adjusting primer. It's got that same like kind of silicone texture that like it, it literally feels like almost nothing and I don't know if it really tone adjusts I guess so I, right now it just looks like it's making me entirely red but that's probably also just because I'm rubbing my face really hard um but it like melts away into nothing and it's like for somebody who has drier skin like I do I always look for hydrating primers and this one is not particularly high like it's not meant for hydration. I don't use a lot of these kind of primers because I find that they just like dry me out. Um, but it seems to work really, really nice as hydrating. So the next thing we're going to use, and we are going to use the Blendiful, we're going to use my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. Um, so one side, let's do, which side am I? I'm right-handed. Let's do the Blendiful with my right side and we'll do um, my left side with uh, just my fingers and or regular products. You're going to be seeing this guy a lot in this video and that's just because it's got a nice big mirror that I can look into because I don't have like a hand mirror or anything. I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little bit on my face just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So like I said, I'm just going to take some of this primer. I just got to remember to only do it on this side of my face. That's going to be the trick for me. So I, it's funny because I was kind of watching a video um, of Tati because she's the one who I learned about this primer from. And she's like, oh, when you use blurring primers, you have a tendency to like pull at them and it makes them pill up. And like, she's completely right. I absolutely do that like on the regular. So I am trying to just do a padding motion. I'm also trying really hard to stay on this side of my face. Um, and it's really getting difficult up in this area. So now... Let us take the beautiful, so, so soft, blendiful, and I'm just going to pick some of the product up. So there's just a little bit of the product on there. Can you focus? Right there. And then she just said that because this like has like a grippy kind of like, would you, oh my God, a grippy kind of texture, it really just allows you to pat the product in. And it does look like that. The only thing that kind of sucks about this is this thing is so huge that um, you guys can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just like pretty much like scooping out like a dollop. This is now granted, I think that this is more than I would, oh my, normally use. And I just think that's because I picked up too much perhaps in the future. I'm pushing quite hard also. These are super, super flexible and I think that's so that you can roll them up if necessary. But I was just about to say like, I'm pushing pretty hard um, and it's still really, really nice. It's so flexible and soft. So we've got blurring primer on. So it did do a really good job with that. Um, I was also a little worried because of, like that it would like soak up a lot of the product and I don't think it did, which is really, really nice. So, so far, I can't tell the difference over one way or the other. Um, until I kind of get to the end, I'm not going to decide if I would rather use this or not because I think that that's something that I'm just going to have to decide eventually down the road. So next, we are going to go in with a foundation that I am very, very familiar with. That way, I kind of know what to expect with it. I did get a new foundation today, but I don't want to... Um, does this make sense? Like, I don't want to use it because then I don't know if I can blame the foundation or if I should be blaming the Blendiful. Holy crap, I've already been filming for 10 minutes and I have done nothing. So as per usual, I'm just taking a couple pumps in here. And like I said, this side is going to be our 
brush side, our like normal side, and I'm just like patting. I need a mirror, Sam, stop using a camera. And I'm just sort of patting this on. I know that this shade is too dark for me. 90% of my foundations are too dark for me. It is not because I don't know how to color match. It is because I like to go a little darker. It means that I don't need to put as much bronzer on. It is looking a little bit like kind of, maybe it's just the camera because in person it doesn't look as like orangey, but I feel like on camera it is making me look kind of orange. Uh, this is the shade 41NN also in case you guys wanted to know because I don't know, I guess I'm looking a little more pink these days, but like for the most part, I think that I've got a... Um, fairly neutral undertone. Now the thing that kind of sucks in the case of the Blendable is it's also going to have to cover all of this nonsense over here, which uh, <laughs> challenge accepted. Let's see how it goes. So I'd say that that's that side covered. So now I'm going to, I think you're supposed to go in with another corner. Okay, so it says easily glide on foundation in a sweeping or buffing motion to uh, achieve a flawless and airbrush look. All right, let's see how it goes. So I'm going to use like another corner and that's just because I don't want the foundation to react weird with the primer. Like I want there to be nothing uh, to blame this on. So sweeping or buffing. Okay, I only picked up a very little amount because I don't want to like oversaturate it and make it look really cakey. Um, what I will say is that this will give you a lot of coverage control that a brush probably doesn't give you as much of. Um, just because like as you pick it up and you place it on and you buff it out, you can get like a really, really sheer coverage and then you can just build up from there. So right now I would say that like this side is a lot heavier than the other side uh, in terms of like application, but that's not a bad thing. And it looks like it's not, like it's dirty, but like it's not absorbing, like it's not super wet or like anything like that. So I did just pick up a little bit more product just because I wanted to sort of see what happens. And I'm just also kind of blending the two edges together. So I am doing a sweeping motion. I think you could also, could you press? I mean, I think you can press for the initial lay down. I think eventually you do kind of need to buff that out. Um, so first thing I will say is I'm not seeing like any streak marks, any texture marks or anything like that. I do think that and again, this is probably just a thing that's gonna come with practice um, because obviously this is my very first time ever using this that, I mean, right now, God, this foundation's really orange and I've never noticed it to be before. That's fine though. Whatever, what can you do, right? Um, so what I will say is that this side for me went on easier, it went on faster, it went on a little bit smoother but that's just because I've been doing it with a brush for years and this is my first ever time using this thing. It also got everywhere all over this. So that's not really the fault of the Blendiful, that's the fault of me because I don't know how to use it yet. And like I said, it just takes practice. So for concealer, we're gonna use uh, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm in shade Light 2 Vanilla, so I've got it on my damp beauty blender over here. And I'm just going to dab that. I kind of put it, under and bring it up a little bit because I find I do get like a lot of darkness right here um, just like where my do you see that where all my crow's feet and stuff are and then I'm also going to pick up a little bit just like underneath my nose I'll put a touch bit on this side of my chin just because I know I'm going to be putting some on that side of my chin and I want it to be a little even and then a little bit in between my eyebrows as well so like you guys can see all my concealer spots right now now let's do it with the Blendiful. So we're gonna just pick up a little bit here and we're just going to pat it in. So I am, hmm, what do you guys think? Again, I think it's something that will get better for me. I also think I'm dabbing too much and I need to be like more pressing because as I dab it, you're getting a lot of like the texture in it. Like I'll kind of show you here if it'll focus. 
like you see you're seeing a lot of texture whereas if you press it it goes down a little bit more um not patchy is the word I'm looking for a little bit more um smooth there is a good word it's going on a little smoother when I do the press and like it's almost like a press and roll kind of a thing than it did so let's try that again here because I was sort of um dabbing I just want to press instead let's just see how it goes so pretty good I'd say again I think it's just going to be something that takes practice um but I, I do like it so far. Now we're going to just use normal concealer. So for this, I would put it straight on to my face. I'm just going to put a couple dabs on both sides. A little bit here. And then definitely we're going to be dotting a ton down here. Because I am having major, major breakouts right now. So there's all of that. Now I'm going to give this a second to, you know what, yeah, I'm going to give it a second to tack down and while I do that I'm just going to go off screen and do my eyebrows uh, really quickly and then I'll come back and we will blend this out from there. Alright, I am back, my eyebrows are done, they kind of look like crap right now but I'm over it so now we're just going to take that same edge. Oops, I went on the wrong side you guys, Oh, uh, why didn't you stop me? Okay, hold on, let me just finish it with this. <laughs> I got distracted. I got so distracted by how bad my eyebrows look that I used the Blendiful on the wrong side of my face. <laughs> Let's go on the other side of our face now and just, again, this is a pressing kind of a motion, like a press and roll. Hmm. I don't know if I waited too long or if this particular concealer needs a little bit of like, I'm just going to fix this side because I wasn't super happy with that. I don't know if this particular concealer, because I let it sit so long, needs a little bit of that moisture to kind of like reactivate it and get it moving. Um, maybe in the future I just go straight in with this rather than give it a second to tack down, which is what I would normally do. But we know now, so no big deal. Uh, next we are going to go in with a setting powder, which I don't have. Give me a second, I gotta go find it. Sorry about that. I've got different bits of my makeup in like different places all over this room just as I'm like pre-planning certain videos. So we're just going to use Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and that's because again, much like the foundation, it's something I know how it works. I trust it completely. Uh, I just want to see. So I skipped the concealer part but it said use the pointed tip to lay down and smooth an even amount of concealer where precision is needed. Oh, you're supposed to contour next and then do powder. Okay, so I'll do I'll do it her way. That's fine. So for contour, which I suck at, by the way, just as an FYI, we are going to use this NARS Sculpting Multiple Duo. One side is Hot Sand, one side is Laguna. Laguna is one of my favorite bronzers. So we're going to, okay, folding in half around your finger, use a striping motion to pick up and lay down your contour to the angles of your face, then softly bush, bleh, 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 buff out. Okay. So I've got like a blank spot on this thing. I'm gonna just put it on like normal, how I would do it. That's a good look. I'll be honest, as I'm doing this right now, I realized I would normally buff this out with a brush. I can't even follow my own normal routine. So I'm just like literally like painting some of it on here just cause I kinda wanna see how this goes. Uh, get my mirror back out because I put it away for a minute. Where did it go? Oh, okay, here we go. So I've got a little bit of product there. Huh. Well, I will say I feel like I've got a lot more control with this than I do just like sticking this straight on there. But and so I'm going to just sort of see what happens as it blends. Hmm. Certainly did a better job than the Beauty Blender. Again, I'm not really big on contour, so I think the reason that this looks bad is just because I suck at contour. Um, so next we are going to, like I said, use some setting powder. And for my, it's gonna fall off my knee, I'm so sorry. For my non-blendiful side, I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender and pick it up. I don't bake um, my face, I just pat the powder in. I don't know why, I've never tried to bake, I don't really understand, like I think it's just that you use a crap ton more powder and you like lay it all over your face and um, 
I don't know, it, like in a really thick layer and then you brush it away and that just seems like a total, I got a little on that side, like a total waste of product to me. I don't know, am I crazy? Is that a waste? I don't know. I can understand people that like do it under their eyes to make sure that they get no fallout, but also like, no, I'm not about it. So it is also recommending using the big one for this. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna pick up some powder and just place it under there. Hmm. This I am doing like a very, very like stampy, stampy kind of motion just because I don't want to get like huge clumps of powder anywhere on my face. Uh, I do like it for the powder. I really do. I feel like my powder is stretching out a lot more. Like I feel like I don't pick up quite as much as I do with a beauty blender. Not that I don't end up like blending it out with a beauty blender, but like there's probably more on this side of my face than there really needed to be. I only really use it to set any kind of liquid product. So foundation, uh, I guess a little bit of that contour, definitely concealer. So I only really use it like here, here, here. And I feel like sometimes with the beauty blender, I do pick up an awful lot and then I find that I'm blending out to places that I probably don't need it. Um, but hey, whatever. Um, I'm going to do some bronzing on my face. Again, I'm going to do this off camera because I'm not using the Blendiful to do it. Then we'll come back and do a little bit more. Hello, back again. So I just put some bronzer kind of everywhere on my face just to deepen it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more sun-kissed even though it is really crappy outside. The sun was out today though, so yay sunshine. All right, so the next thing that it says to do is to do highlight with the little one, but I also kind of want to try using a liquid Blah, 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 a liquid blush with it just sort of see how it goes so for me I've got this NARS liquid blush in luster I'm absolutely obsessed with these um, they're just so so beautiful so I just put a little bit on my hand normally and then I get sort of like a stippling brush or like a flat brush and I pick some up the only problem is like normally I pick it up in like a little dot place and it sort of just sits there and then I have a really hard time blending it out but we're just gonna see how this goes so just stamp it on the cheek and then bring it, you see, up and out. So like it went on like really, really bright, but it like blends out so, so nice. I'm obsessed with this blush. It's so pretty. So now let's use the baby Blendiful if I can find it. Good news, I found it. I also had a little incident where I got some blush on the carpet, which is really, really bad. Um, but I got that out too. So for this, I think I'm going to just, should I do it the same way? I'm going to do it the same way just to give it the same kind of a chance. And I'm just going to put a little bit like on my hand. Gosh. Okay. I'm having a day. I've been having days. I'll tell you guys all about it when I actually do like my eyes, just because I feel like if I get too far off base in this video, like I don't know. I feel like I get into so many segues and it's probably really annoying. Um, okay. So I think it did almost the exact same job. I think I just got higher on the other side, but looks good to me. It looks the same. Blended out really nice. Again, this did not absorb a ton of the product. Honestly, a lot of what I think is on the Blendiful is part of just like my regular face makeup that was on. Honestly, I think I like this side a little more. I think I went in a little bit nuts on that side, but again, no big deal. Last thing we're gonna do here is going to be highlighter. So I've got my hot sand highlighter. So I would just put this straight on and then like buff it with a finger, right? So for this side, I'm gonna do normal, which would be like that. And for the other side, let's take the Blendiful. I'm gonna use like a little edge of it and just kinda Okay, so the reason I do like that side I think a little bit better is because I had a lot more like control over evenness. It wasn't like a stark line like it was on this side. Now again, I'm going to, let's use the old favorite. I feel like I haven't used this thing in so, so long. This is my Soft and Gentle. It is my all-time favorite highlighter. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. So look at that highlight. Oh, so pretty, okay. Now we're going to try it with the Blendiful, which is good because it's already covered in highlight because it's super powdery. So I've got some. Let's just see how this goes. 
It's funny because I'm pretty sure it said like it was for liquid highlight, but I kind of just wanted to try and see how this went. Is it as crazy? No, I don't know that. But you know why I think it's not as crazy is because I think on the brush you pick up a lot of like loose product and like it's just very, very like pillowy and fluffy. And then it kind of when you lay it down, does this make sense? Like when you lay it down, you're also poofing it out a lot more. I don't know. Does that make any sense? So we are done the face. I'm not going to set it right now because I'm going to be doing that in a later video. So I don't know. What do you guys think? So no blendiful. Blendiful. What do we think? A couple things right off the bat that I'm noticing. I think the concealer is a little bit better on the side that I am more used to doing, but again, practice makes perfect. I will get better at it. For the most part, though, I do really like the way that it applied my makeup. I like that, you know, with foundation, you're going to be able to sheer it out a little bit more or make it a little bit more uh, full coverage depending on how you layer it. One thing I will say that I think that the Blendiful did a much better job at is putting on that primer. I really got what she was saying where if you just like press it in you really feel like it is like sinking into your pores and filling them and blurring a lot better than when I use my hand I feel like I'm just like blurring away a lot of makeup uh, so yeah I think that these are great they're freaking me out a little bit how dirty they are to be completely honest but I don't think that that's a big deal um, I'm gonna see how the washing kind of goes uh, Maybe I'll film that and put it on my Instagram so you guys can see how they wash out. I'll use the instructions if you guys are interested in seeing that. I will do it. Um, but yeah, I would say for the most part, I really, really like it. I think it's just going to take some time to get used to them. But sweet. These are pretty cool. I don't know. What do you guys think? So I will link the, uh, I will put the link for these down in the description bar below so you guys can get your own. Obviously, it's not an affiliate link. She obviously has no idea who I am. Um... But yeah, if you guys want to get your hands on them, hopefully this helped a little bit um, from someone who went out and bought them for themselves and didn't get them sent in a PR package or anything like that. So if you like this kind of video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, let me know what your experience was with the Blendiful, or if you know of any other really cool like makeup tools that I should be trying out, this kind of like really opened my eyes and intrigued me and made me want to try a lot more. So let me know what there is. Um... Like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time.